Hello and welcome back to Forts. In today's spotlight, we'll be showing off the commander specific weapons for the Pinch Fist Commander. And, uh, well, this one's actually, actually quite nice, but, uh, I actually did attempt to record this video a little while ago. I had a little bit of a recording issue, so I'm gonna have to do it again, which is unfortunate. And this time, I'm gonna do it right and not get carried away with, uh, w with what I'm about to show you. And first, put down my technology. There we go. Alright, so the Pinch Fist Commander is, uh, different for most, and unlike getting uh, the regular weapon types, the Pinch Fist Commander gets kittens. Yes, yes, I literally get cats. And we're gonna, we're gonna build uh, some of these cats, and just, let's, let's start working on that. So I'm building this way back here where they'll be nice and safe, but more importantly, uh, we're only allowed to build one cat. Uh, I guess just because the cats are kind of powerful. See, look, we, we, it's, it's locked, we, we're not allowed to build anymore. So to get around this, I'm going to uh, build a rope here and right there, and let let them let the let the cat go. This is a uh, this is not our cat. I've never seen this cat before. Look at this. Now I can I can build a cat right here because that's not my cat. And I'm gonna gonna do the same thing again. Just connect you there and there and disconnect this. And we just got a couple of stray cats hanging around our fort. Don't worry about it. And this is my cat right here. But I I kind of feel like adopting these guys. So let's go ahead and, and adopt these stray cats. And now we have a bunch of a bunch of cats in our in our little cat army. And uh, let's see, do we want to go with cannons or or lasers? You know what? Let's go with let's go with cannons this time around. I've I've been going cannons a lot recently, and that's probably just because I like cannons. Um cannons they they go boom. <laughs> so let's go ahead and cover these guys up, make sure they have a nice careful home. So the way these the way these cats work is they consume energy every time we activate them. Uh, so they, I believe it's 300, yes, they cost 300 energy to activate, and they give us 25, 25 metal in exchange. So that's, every time we, we play with our cats, we, we get a little bit more metal, which makes them very economically, well, good. Qu quite good. It's just a way of converting energy into metal. So I'm going to go ahead and get a nice, strong turbine production, uh, so that we can get a lot of energy, and then turn it all into metal by feeding our cats. Isn't... Isn't that, that's a sentence I'm never going to, to say probably ever again. Uh, I, I wouldn't expect, it's, that's just a strange sentence to say. Let's go ahead and get another mine. Because if we're going to be going this hard in the economy, might as well go full economy. And let's see if I can also invest into a, a an upgrade center. Right, we've got one kitten ready to go. Let's go ahead and, and activate him. Send his, send all of his, all of his golden coins all over the place. There we go. Just spread the love. Yay! Alright, so that's going to give us enough for an upgrade center. Go ahead and put you down here. Where can't you fit? There we are. That's what we're looking for. And our cannon production facility is almost ready to go. So we'll go ahead and build a, a place for those cannons to go. Right out here. All the way out here and away from our core where nothing, nothing terrible can explode. Alright, and cannon goes... Uh, you know what? Let's go with 20s. I haven't gone with 20s in a long time. And, uh, I believe in Tanya's mod. They're modified a little bit to make them more powerful. So I can I can get away with building 20s here a little bit more uh, realistically. So I think that's what I'm going to go with this time. Let's just cross brace all this so it doesn't droop and deform just as much, even though it's a little bit heavier. There we are. Build an energy shield right here. Uh, we don't have the metal for it. But fortunately, we do have the kitties for it. There we go. Just blow those guys a little bit. And just go feed the kittens and build an energy shield. Nice. So we have a 120 millimeter down. I'm gonna need some more batteries. I don't have nearly enough batteries. Why don't you fit here? It does not support. Oh, because it's too close to the. Uh, much better. Okay, so we'll get a couple batteries back there. Remember, batteries when upgraded do produce power. We got an upgrade center, so we can get these guys going. I want to get another 20 mil down. Uh, okay, I was hearing a bunch of ropes and I was curious about what you would need those ropes for on this map. As I don't suspect a lot of players gonna know how to do this kind of disconnect the base shenanigans. So I was curious, like, what are you doing? You're trying to move your core? You madman? Nope, nope, just, um, attaching ropes to a wall. Which is, you know, it's, it's, it's there. Let's continue to ignore that and produce these. Okay, it's good to upgrade these guys. Get some more energy production. I want one more metal store as well. Because remember, metal stores when upgrade also also produce 
uh, metal. So I'm going to keep that up. We don't have enough metal right now, so I'm just going to continue to play with kittens. There we go. Now, I'm not exactly sure of the significance of the, the golden golden kitties. I'm sure there's some luck-based, uh, probably, what is it called? Uh, superstition about it. But I, I can't honestly say I'm, f I'm familiar with it, so I'm just going to not not talk about it too much because I don't like talking about things that I don't know about. If I'm going to talk about things, I want to have at least some some knowledgeable idea as to what's going on. So it looks like these are good to go. I'm actually going to wait for both of these to complete before opening fire because I, I want to get more damage done. 20s, they don't have a whole lot of damage output. What they do is they spread the damage around and drain the drain the resources of the enemy just in, by incurring massive repairing costs. Uh, fortunately, it would appear that our opponent here didn't didn't quite have a lot of a lot of defenses on his front. So what little damage these guys are doing just went straight to their important bits, which is you know it's good for me. Makes, makes things easy for me to, to deal with. Let's go ahead and protect it up metal and stuff. I don't have the monies for it. There we go. And 20s come off cooldown nice and quick, so I'll cover you up. And fire once more. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be a real unfortunate experience. 20 mils straight to the front. Now remember the commander's active ability, uh, Pinchfist's active ability, does does reduce the the firing cost of our weapons by 50%. So it's basically buy one get one free weapons, which is actually quite strong, and especially when dealing with super weapons or things like the Tanya's mod upgraded lasers. But in our case, uh, it's just going to help with the metal costs of these of these uh, 20 mils. And so you go over there and ooh, yeah. Yep, burn all that down, break through his energy shields, and we'll add a third one into the mix here. There we go. Uh, teammate having a little bit of a hard time, but we are the Pinchfist Commander, so he has access to all the goodies. Remember, Pinchfist Commander passive, let me here read it out for you, uh, in makes better collectors, so basically all of these all of these mines actually work better than the standard mines. It's, it's not much, it's by some fraction, some fractional number. But it's still it's still something when added up. This should start breaking apart his economy. Look, it's all disconnected, and all of those repair costs. If he hits the repair key, he's not going to have enough enough uh, well monies to reconnect to his. Yeah, he's going to have a real rough time because he doesn't have access to his his uh, uh, any kind of his resource generation right now. So good luck, good luck dealing with that. You're you're gonna need it. Let's go ahead and add some airy metal because you know why not? It's there. These are good to go. Activate commander ability for cheaper, cheaper firing costs, and then send more 20 mils all the way across to his base. And good luck repairing all of that. Now, at some point, I'm probably going to want to get some some standard cannons just for the penetrative power, or really any weapon that more penetrative power than a, a 20 mil. Ooh, I love that sound. I'm glad it's not quite so loud anymore. Even though it's it's still it's still loud, but it just sounds so good. It makes me happy. I like the I like the, I like the the gun firing sounds. Aim a little bit lower. There we go. Yes. Ooh, we're actually digging to his core. He's he's not able to rebuild all these things because you know if he tries to build this out of metal, then it's just way too much money. And if he tries building it out of not metal, then it's just going to break because you know wood isn't that good. Like wood is good. Don't get me wrong. It'll it'll defend against a lot of things, but it won't defend against three cannons. That's just not quite how that works. Sounds like he opened his door, so I'm gonna try to capitalize on this. By firing all of these guys right there. Oop, nope, we blew away everything he rebuilds and then some additional. Nice. Gonna get some more batteries back here and upgrade them to produce power. Uh, no, not building that there. That's not going to, to end well for me. Turn this into airy metal. Thank you. Now let's see what else. What else can I convert? You, you, you. Remember, every metal in Tony's mod has uh, anti-gravity properties, so the more of it we have, the 
better. It is a ladder abyss. There we are. Hey, this is a good opportunity for Snipey to do things. There is an exposed cannon. And before he sells it off, let's... Oh, oh, no, come on, Snipey, do it. No, oh, he sold it off right before the bullet landed. That's uh, that's actually really good on his part. Good work. Good work. Oh, wait. Is my Snipey being sniped? No, you dare snipe, Snipey. All right, we're going to put him back. I'll put him back right here behind wooden doors. Activate commander ability and then fire all things. <laughs> Ah, uh, alrighty, let's go ahead and hotkey you, and do I want to work on another technology, or begin construction of a, let's just begin construction of standard cannons that are capable of actually, um, doing, doing full penetration damage. There we go, because we, we can keep him suppressed indefinitely, we can keep him, uh, we can keep him having a, a near infinite amount of repairing cost, but what we can't do is guarantee a shot to the core. Uh, that's another another vulnerability on oh oh there we go and he's gone GG to round two same players same teams and i'm out looking for kittens at least that's the plan so far so let's go ahead and get a, a little little place to to put our kittens and make sure that we go adopting all the stray kitties that we can find go ahead and put this guy down here and put our first our first little stray kitty right out here there we go let's make sure to uh disconnect this because i don't know who's kitten this is. It's not my, I've never seen it in my life. It's just some random stray just sitting, sitting outside the fort. Don't have to worry about it. And we've got, we've got it, we've got a little bit of a stray kitten problem. I'm just gonna sit way out there where no one has to worry about them and then get another one of these guys going. Uh, let's get our technology before I get a little bit carried away with the, the kittens out the back. Uh, if I play with them too much, I'm never gonna have any technology and that's gonna be bad. Let's go ahead and put you down here, and then we can reconnect them. This is actually not as straight as I would like it to be. I connect you here, pull you up a little bit. Uh, it's, it's better than it was. This is it'll have to do. Sell these guys off for the goodies because ropes not cheap. There we go and we should be good to go. There we go, and they will help bolster our economy. Or just whenever we're about to lose, I need to be comforted before everything goes exploding. That should, that should help out nicely. Okay, sell this guy off. We don't need you. We have cats now. And replace you with wood. How are you guys doing? They're fine. Very flat top base over there. Kind of a lot of expansion. Hope you've used it wisely because spending that much money on expanding your entire base is going to cost you and put you way behind anyone who put the technology down first. Fortunately for, fortunately for uh, him, uh, I didn't put down my technology first, so he's not guaranteed to be uh, very, very far behind. Let's start working on our energy production here. Desperately need it. Go, and we aren't ready to play with our kitties just yet, so we're going to go ahead and sell that off, use that to fund our turbines. Remember, we're a pinch fist, so we get 100% reclaim. Every time we sell something, we get the full cost back instead of just part of it. Looks like our kitties are almost ready to go, and these turbines will help us feed them all. There we are. And now we have more metal. And, but really, we need more energy, because that's our limiting, our limiting reagent, or limiting, limiting, a uh, factor here. Limiting resource. This guy right up here. And then everything is good. Everything going according to plan. A uh, potential... Well, if I recall last time... Oh, he just placed something there. That's going to be a weapon. Dear, oh dear, oh my. Which would make sense... Well, actually, no. What, what, what would that be? Uh, I mean, it's a weapon of some kind. 
you had to have gone super greedy if you wanted to get it get down a heavy weapon that quickly but then again that's uh that's kind of the meta now isn't it so we gotta gotta keep an eye on to keep an eye on that particular position i'm gonna build 20s uh here here and here again i think that was a, a good strategy or at least at least a satisfying one let's build one of these guys here and then we'll start putting down our 20s here and sell this off top and right here good yes you are very good should actually build this out further, shouldn't I? You know, it's too late. It's already been placed. It's just going to cost me a little bit extra when, when things explode horribly on me. There we go. Or when things morph at all, because now I can't get the proper, proper bracing on it. It's good. And then one more. Here we go. Right, we need to play with our kittens a little bit to fuel our, fuel our booming metal economy. Go. Right there. Nice. Can you fit here? You can. Very good. Alright, so you got the one door there that helps against... Having the one door just there really helps against door sniping. Because it will close faster than the metal doors. So, whenever we want to... Um, whenever we want to close our doors, it just means it's that much less time that enemy snipers have to snipe our weapons. Now, at the end of last match, we did get our 20 mil sniped. But, uh, well... The wooden door wouldn't have saved it because the, the 20 mil was still firing when it got sniped. That was very good shooting on behalf of the opponents. Should be pretty pretty good to go here. I just want to see these all double doored. I'm gonna wait until I can fire all of them at once, just because it looks cool, and for no other reason. Though really, I if I was cared that much about winning, I should be firing these weapons right now because look at all of this beautiful target and that giant base. Like you can't miss it. Like, the worst thing that could happen is... I, I missed the base. Oh, he's being sniped. Who's sniping? Top base is sniping, and he's sniping my friend's... Uh, missile launcher of some kind. Uh, vanilla missile launcher, actually. Upgraded to very high level. Alright, 20 mils being fielded by the enemy. So let us return fire by shooting three of them. Ooh, that was really close. Half cost firing, and bring the pain. Goodbye, cannon. If you want to shoot me with a cannon, I will shoot you with three. Welcome. Welcome to the incursion. Ooh, level workers. Those are always good fun. Uh, expensive to shoot. Thankfully, we have the uh, Pinch Fist Commander, who needs an upgrade center. And Pinch Fist will make them much, much cheaper. Looks like my teammate has gone with the lower tier weapons, but... Well, these weapons, are actually they actually hit super hard, so... Call them low tier, but really, they're just good. No! Again with a door snipe right as I open the door. That's unfortunate. I will activate commander ability so we can get the cheap firing costs. Play with the kittens a little bit because we need metal to replace that cannon. Come on, finish building. There we go. Alright, now let's go ahead and return fire. Uh, can we get the same kind of damage done? Uh, no. No. No, he got rid of one of my weapons. That's, that's unacceptable. Go. You. And we build on you. Doors are falling down. Need more money. Gimme kittens, gimme kittens. Okay. Wooden door, because it builds quickly. And then metal doors here. And we need another metal door right here. Immediately. Rather, wooden door first. Then kittens more. My teammate should be using his, uh, or our commander ability here. Because it's, it's a really good commander ability. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. That was a close one. Alright, well, I think at this point I'm not going to be... 20 mils, what's happening here is I don't have the economy to keep rebuilding this fast enough. So I'm just going to have to fire. Which is, you know, kind of the whole point of 20 mils. They, they rebuild, they do a damage, very widespread damage, but not not directed like they won't penetrate deeply but what they will do is spread the damage out a lot and make the repair bill very very high and that's what's happening to me like i don't have the economy to rebuild all of these things before the next wave of 20 mils comes in and then they start breaking even more things which makes it even worse but uh even these kittens not quite powerful enough to oh it's coming again oh they're 
go to my weapons. Yeah, I just need to fire. I want the big single grouping of them and it's not gonna happen. Oh well. Just fire and hire. Get the damage done while you can. Now everything is deformed. Ah, it'll it'll be fine. Uh, let's just start building more weapons down here. And go. This. Very good. You're still on cooldown for the moment. And fire. All right, that should do it. He took out his weapons. Things are much better. Let's go ahead and get another 20 mil. Right. Uh, no, let's get a regular cannon so that we actually um, actually have a better chance of coming back from here. So I don't want to be spending all of my weapons on 20 mils. Go. Come on. Give me door. Give me door. Give me door. Give me. Give me. Give me. Thank you. There. Get me some more for additional monies. And then bring out the 20s once more. Aim a little bit lower because that's where the rest of the heat of his base is. Just have a sniper stood up here just in case something gets ex exposed that he doesn't want to be exposed. Perhaps like that machine gunner? Nope. He's got a door on it. And a little bit more money. Upgrade these things. Upgrade these things too. There we go. Ooh, look, flak. Exposed. Hi. Uh, he's got something down here. I don't know what it is. Uh, that sounded like a turbine? That's not a turbine. It was some kind of a rocket launcher? Perhaps? In any case, I'm gonna hit it with a 20. I don't think there's anything else there. But we have another cannon being built, which will help immensely. I don't think this is a buildable segment, so we'll have to probably redesign that a little bit. And also build another 20 right here, because we can. Right here? No, it's it's way too deformed. Okay, 20 goes there now. This is going to be an expensive door job. Alright, ooh, things can fit there. That'll be another, another set for the cannons. Alright. Continue pounding away here. Now, he was building a flak right up top, and it looks like he's got doors there. Yeah. Yep. Can I get the sniper right across the top and just get the headshot? I don't think so. I think he's a little bit too, a little bit too deep in. Oh no! Oh, this is fine. This is an acceptable outcome. All right, you are not a wooden door. All right. Let's begin pounding. Looks like top base is actually having a real rough time here, but I want to continue. F nah, I'll, I'll help the teammate focus top or just miss horribly. That works too. Uh, that actually doesn't work, it's kind of a problem. Let's continue petting the cats for additional monies. Ah, it changed. Okay, so let's do this. If I can hoist this up ever so slightly, then we should be able to fit a cannon here, like so. And now we can unhoist it and get that extra angle. Very much so like tier 3 only not tier 3 -ing. We fit. Oh, actually, there was a moment where we could fit it. If we hoist this back up, can we get the door in here? Nope, 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 okay. Alright, well, we'll just fit you there. And you lower. Is teammate changing targets? Teammates constantly changing targets. Don't change targets, pick one and go for it. Ugh, okay, looks like we're, we're aiming at bottom now. Need one. Two, eight, three. Go. Okay. We are changing targets at infinitum now. Shots. Everything is EMP'd. There we go. All right. And that should help out the whole EMP problem that we're having. I'm gonna keep aiming low, because that appears to be the location in which we're hitting. That's another good cannon shot. Get this back. Put you back here. Can't not have a snipey, you know. I'm gonna activate commander ability because teammate's sitting on those rockets, and I want him to make sure that he can continue firing. 
good at that flak? Oh no, that's unfortunate. I should have seen that one coming. Now I have a door that's stuck open. Oh well. He needs to be... He needs to be doored anyways. Alright, good. Now this shot with a double cannon should put in some more work. Follow it up with the 20. Reality should have done that in reverse order. So the 20s are better for softening targets up. Cannon's better for just pure penetration. How did that not hit the flak? How did that not hit the flak again? Eh. Oh well. At least we have it aimed now for this time. Alright. Time for 20s. There we go. Everything looks nice and softened up now. And one shot straight to the core. Uh, straight above the core, but we hit all this infrastructure and stuff above it, so that'll that'll help nicely. I need to protect you a little bit more against this flak. That way it doesn't come in from behind. Yep. What I'm going to do here is reinforce this a little bit. And put airy metal all over this. So airy metal has a, an anti-gravity effect which helps reduce the weight of my fort just by using it everywhere. Good. All right, 20 mil here, and then another 20 mil here. And these guys are almost finished. And our ability for bonus uh, firing cost. And straight to the core, almost right above the core. If only we had a sniper right now. I should, I should actually put him in a place where he's nice and safe instead of constantly being uh, exploded. Cross brace, all of this stuff should have done the cross brace a while ago. Go upgrade that to airy metal, airy metal. Upgrade you for additional. Okay, uh, where can we put more batteries? Right there! Right in our foundation. Worst case scenario, we explode. Need to be lower. We're good. And you need to be ever so slightly lower. <laughs> Alright, now did that flak go away? It looks like it did because everything is over on fire over there. I've got some flak up top, which I don't know if I can hit, but my teammate can certainly hit. I think I might be able to get that headshot right Oh yes I can! Beautiful! Just a few pixels and suddenly they have no more flak. Again. There we go. Alright, let's let's bring these 20s to bear. Aim up a little higher. Straight to the center mass. And then bring the cannons right there. Ooh. One down, one to go. Now this player's built a lot of metal. And as we've as we've previously seen, with kind of the whole point of uh Kind of the whole point of any of these splash AOE weapons is to, to just blow away metal, which is uh, makes uh, makes our weapon choice exceptionally good versus top player here. So we're just going to soften up his metal, and then soften up his metal again, and follow through with... Yeah, the 20's finished. Alright guys, well, if you want to see the next commander here in these Tanya's mods sp commander specific highlights, Make sure to hit that subscribe button because we got another one of these videos coming out real soon. So for now, I'll see you guys later.